is it your sense that there are unreasonable expectations of India? Because um, critics of your point of view will say that, in fact, the U.S. has a very clear-eyed understanding uh, of what New Delhi's needs are, um, that it doesn't really expect Delhi to join a military coalition against Beijing, um, that it's been quite willing to allow uh, India to pick and choose how it defines the Quad internally and how it engages with it, that it's been very willing to allow India to make an economic argument about crude purchases from Russia. It's all fine and good to say in peacetime, that we are comfortable with India's choices. If we actually got into a conflict with China, which would be among the most hair-raising possibilities, the more hair-raising threats that the United States would face, it's not obvious to me that we will be comfortable with an India that sits on the sidelines. But if that contingency comes to pass, I think the pressures on the US leadership at that point will be such that we will be looking for all the friends we can find. And so, you know, when people say, oh, we have a very clear eyed idea that India, you know, will not do much and we're all comfortable with it. I think that is true uh, for many, uh, you know, civilian leaders in the United States in peacetime. But if we actually got into a war, the pressures of the, that situation would be so great that I'm not sure Uh, we will have the fortitude uh, to stand there and just leave India alone. 